Hey, what's going on? This is Dr. Roddy Ferguson, and welcome to another edition of Coffee with Roddy. I want to talk to you about something, uh, I'm in between appointments, that is pretty important in terms for personal growth and personal development. And I want to give you a, a, just a small story. I remember when I was training um, in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, when I started Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in 1998. And I always wanted to play from on top. I wanted to, you know, be good at just passing the guard, passing the guard, passing the guard. I didn't really want to play from my back. And I got really good. I mean, people who have been training for a while, I mean, all the way up to purple belts, I could pass their guard. And I was on like a white belt, blue belt at the time. But when I got put on my back, I felt like I was a white belt. I did not have the, the technique. I did not have the understanding or the wherewithal to play a, a bottom side guard game. And ultimately what happened is I thwarted my growth. Recently I was in um, at this frozen yogurt place and I was watching a, a mom and a, and a child order. And the child says, I, I, want, I want the bubblegum flavor. And the mom says, well, why don't you try you know, XYZ flavor? And the child said, well, I don't like that. I, I, don't, I don't want that. I don't like that. And I interjected and said, well, how do you know if you don't like it if you've never tried it? And the mom was like, see, you could at least try it. I said, why don't you just get a sample? Because they give samples. And the child got the sample, and they still chose the bubblegum flavor, which was great because at least you tried. And the one thing that has helped me out immensely in, in Judo and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and in life uh, and academia was my ability to jump over that, the hurdle of comfort and to try new things. I can tell you right now, when it comes to martial arts, man, you get so comfortable sometimes with your game and with your thing and what you want to do that you don't. You'll lie to yourself and tell yourself, I'm just trying to focus on this right now. I don't wanna, I don't wanna try something else. But whether you whether you just try it or not try it, it's gonna make a huge difference in your development. I'm not telling you that you have to order two or three scoops of it. What I'm telling you is at least take a sample of it so that you can expand your cognitive palate. Because if you don't take a small sample, you won't know what's available and you won't know what it is that you don't want. I, I, I was there, man. I remember when I was at Brown, but I was arrogant. I said, I'm not doing that. I don't want to do that. I'm, I, I'm not concerned about doing that. As a black belt right now, man, I jumped down on the floor and I said, man, show it to me. Let me see it. All right. I, I'm not interested in it, but I know that I'm not interested in it. Or let me work on it for about a week or two. Let me drill it, see how I like it. And then I'll put it in the game or not. But the worst thing that you can do is say, I don't like that if you haven't tried it. If something doesn't fit in your life, I understand you're not wanting to do it. And I'm not telling you to do things that are, that are harmful. I'm not telling you to do drugs or, or, or do things that are going to be harmful to you. I'm talking about the things that can provide you with some level of of growth or development or experiential expansion, if you will, to expand your your territory in terms of your experiences. Man, try those things out. Take a sample and try the sample. You may find that later on in life, you might want to order a scoop or two of those particular things. But if you don't ever try the sample, you won't know if you like it or not. Always be aware when you say, I don't want to do this because I don't like it, make sure that you don't like it first. And the only way that you know that you don't like it is to try it. I am not telling you to do things that are harmful to you. There are certain things that you need to turn down right away. Anything that, that is harmful, anything that is outside the scope of being morally and ethically sound, you turn those things down right away. There's no, there's no reason to sample that particular thing or to sample from that smorgasbord. There's, there's, there's no reason. I'm, I'm not telling you to do it. I'm not telling you that 
oh man, you need to go try, you know, this particular drug because it'll open your mind. No, 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 I'm not on that program. What I'm talking about is, don't say that you don't like math until you get on the internet, get on Khan Academy, try a couple math problems out. See how, see how you enjoy math. See, see if you can get a math tutor for about one or two weeks or a month. Don't say that you don't like math. You, didn't, you never gave math the same try that you gave something else. Give it a try. Give it a real opportunity. Get a sample. And then see if you like it. Like a lot of people say, I don't like running. Well, what do you mean that you don't like running? You've never ran before. Well, I ran. A, no, 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 no. You've never ran before you mean you don't like running it's not that you, what you don't like is you don't like being uncomfortable I got that most people don't but that has nothing to do with running your your discomfort and running those two things are mutually exclusive you created the linking of those two per your mind you can change that you can change that today just just choose a different sample just choose to enjoy exercising. I enjoy being healthy. I'm gonna link running with cardiovascular health or walking with cardiovascular health. And then do the thing, take a sample. You might find out that you like it because I can tell you this, most people, not everybody, there's some certain people who just love running, but most people who fell in love with running didn't love it at first. But they took a sample and then they ordered two scoops so today make a decision one or two take care and have a super fantastic day